Hey everyone, um, this is my first uh, cooking show. I'm trying to make uh, ha Haragriva Halwa. Uh, it was made in the Udupi um, temple in, in olden days, and now I don't know whether they still make it or not. You can also call it as Chanadal Halwa. Um, the, the ingredients for these are, and I hope everyone's fine during the corona uh, epidemic at the moment. So uh, be safe, stay safe. Um, uh, we're doing something. Uh, you know, during these times, we are doing something at home. So I've uh, I've always had a passion for cooking. Um, I'm just trying to make uh, a sweet for the beginning. So the ingredients for these are, uh, we got some chana dal. This is actually uh, already cooked uh, uh, in the uh, cooker with about six whistles. And then we just try to take the water out. Um, just to, we'll use that a bit as well in a later stage. You can see that. We have some homemade ghee made by my wife um, at home here today. Uh, not today, uh, in the recent past. Then we have some poppy seeds, uh, white poppy seeds. It's called gasgasa as well. Then we need uh, some um, cardamom and cloves. We have um, some uh, dry grapes or uh, raisins. We have almonds, which is already broken down to small pieces. We have cashews and we have something called kalkand. It's called uh, sugar. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, sugar cubes. Um, it's not actually sugar, but it's, it's something that I don't know. We call it kalkand. Um, to, start, to start this off, uh, first we need a pan. Um, get it up. Get it a little bit hot and then we take <coughs> the poppy seeds once it's a little warm we put the poppy seeds into to actually uh, without oil nothing just to give it a little fried a little bit so that the flavor and all comes out and that seed gets gets a little crispier Keep it on low flame so that you don't burn it. It'll change color, nice golden bit. So let it go until there. This actually gives a real crispiness to the uh, uh, what you are making <clears throat> we have another two more ingredients which we missed out in the beginning uh, co grated coconut and jaggery jaggery is a uh, uh, raw sugar with, and then <coughs> We take the cardamom and uh, squash it and make it into powder. We need cardamom powder. We've got the poppy seeds already roasted and kept. It comes to this nice, beautiful goldenish color. And we got the ghee here ready. The pan is hot. So we take about, to fry the uh, nuts, we take about uh, one and uh, probably one and one tablespoon of ghee. Give it time. Give it some time to melt down. Now, once the ghee is melted, the it'll be nice hot. We add uh, the almond, broken almonds. and cashews and fry it nicely to golden brown take the nuts away out it's nice golden brown beautifully done nice and crispy Same 
the ghee bit, you can use fried raisins a bit. So it, this will actually cook and it will actually grow in size. Where all the sugar will come out. And Yeah, once it's done, the raisins are nicely fried, it rises in size, it's cooked and ready. So we add, now we'll just use the same pan, use a little bit of ghee, one probably about one tablespoon of ghee. While this is happening, I'll show you what we have special for our lunch today. Uh, wife has made some nice, delicious vegetable kurma. It's got it's got some nice carrots, peas, beans, cauliflower. Um, you can see some corianders on top there. It's got some. You can see some curry leaves there. We'll do one of these shows one of the days. We'll make uh, some nice vegetable kurma. It's good with rice and uh, it's beautiful. Now, go on this so it's nice heated up. Let's add the chana dal, lentils. Um, when, when the water is drained separately, only the dals with uh, low flame. You add it into that. Be careful to be around that because it's Hot and cold, you mix it with it a Just mix it a bit. Just keep doing this until so that it doesn't get stuck under the pan. Before you put that, it's got that nice. It does look like a full lentil, but it's nicely cooked. You can actually see that. It's normally you feel like that. It boil there, a little bit of a boil, you add the ja jaggery and the jaggery is the same one cup consistency, one cup to one cup. If you have uh, lentils of one cup, you add one cup of jaggery and if you want more sweeter, you can add more. With this you mix well so that, keep mixing so that it doesn't get stuck at the bottom. The jaggery melts and you'll get that nice syrupy look on it. Get a beautiful nice color. You can see it's evenly distributed now. If you want you can mash a few of those lentils as well while it's doing this just to get a tasty feel to your sweet while you do this if you want more of a pasty texture to your sweet you can add the liquid excessive liquid but I would prefer it more uh, not pasty not liquidy so I don't I, I will not add anything at this point of time Now you add your cinnamon powder to get the get some flavor and hold it nicely into it. Nice bit of it. I put all the four ones into this. You're already getting some nice aroma. The cinnamon actually gets infuses it with my smell. I can actually get it a nice smell. Nice. 
you add the cloves into them now so that the clove also gives a nice gets cooked well in this nice flavor a little bit. All the water has gone out, all the syrup and all the stuff is beautifully done. Now what you do is you add the coconut. Nice one cup of coconut. You can actually reduce the flame now so it doesn't get thick so it's become very thick at this point of time so what we can do is we have that excessive water from the lentils which we had cooked earlier you can actually add that or if you want it in a burpy style or a crispy style you can actually leave it like this see this is actually too much too dry so you just add a bit of liquid there the lentil water don't add too much so it become, otherwise it become too soggy. Keep mixing it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. To increase the flame a little bit now. This is nicely thick got a thick paste like this and see that you, you can add the nuts the already fried nuts nice. you can actually keep some for the last if you want to just top it up <coughs> and you can add the raisins as well make sure you distribute them evenly Well, <coughs> now you add the kalkan, the sugar white sugar thing. actually see the sweet coming in nice color and texture and consistency in uh, thickness now you find out what you do now you add the poppy seeds the uh, fried poppy seeds nicely distributed evenly get mixed well Bit of a taste. Voila. It's nice. It's not very sweet. It's got that meaty flavor to it. It's crispy. Mm. It's different. It's nice. Finally, just top up with the last bits of nuts what you have fried.
and you can put up the flame and leave it to rest for about 10-15 minutes. Once it cools off, you can, you can put it in a bowl, in a flat bowl. You can make it like cubes after it cools down and then have the thing. You can actually also have it with ice and a little bit of this on top. It will taste yummy. Thank you.